What's up guys, it's Ashley with AMCX Studio and today I'm going to show you inside of Canva how you can create a vinyl color chart for your handmade business. Now if you don't already know, Canva is a free online software. There's also an app that you can download so you can literally do these things on the go. What you're going to want to do is go to canva.com. You might have to sign up for an account, but again, it is totally free. Now me personally, I have a Canva Pro account. It kind of goes with a few of the other things that I have planned in store for this year and it helps me just pull images out really quick. So it's something that I like, but before I purchased the Canva Pro account, I used the free edition for years. And I'm telling you, you can create a color chart for free. I'm going to show you how. So one of the first things that you're going to want to do is go to canva.com. Now we're going to go to create a design in the top right corner. I'm going to go ahead and drop down to custom size. I didn't see any pre-done templates for this. So depending on where you sell at, you might want to adjust your sizing. But for the sake of this video, we're going to assume that you're selling on Etsy. So we're going to go to custom size. And right now, Etsy recommends that your height is no shorter than 2000 pixels. So we're going to go for a 2500 by 2000. We're going to create the blank canvas. You're going to have something like this. The first thing that we want to do is we're going to add our text. Now these little crown things I have access to because I have the pro account, but if you're looking for free, there are options available. Right, so we're going to select this pre-done text setup just for the purposes of this video. You guys are more than welcome to scroll through Canva's hundreds of fonts to pick which ones that you really like and change it up to fit your brand and your things. The cool thing about Canva is that you can kind of set up uh, color palettes and popular fonts and stuff like that. So the more that you use Canva, the more familiar you get with it, the better your experience with it is going to be. Now for the top part here where it says Dazzle, that's not my business name. So we're gonna change that up. Um, I'm gonna go for my name. And then we're gonna do vinyl color chart. Uh, I'm gonna move this up just a little bit. Now in order to let customers know what kind of colors you offer, uh, we're gonna add some basic shapes. You're gonna go to elements on the left hand side. I'm just gonna go for a basic circle, but stars would be fun. You have hexagons, octagons, little notes, hearts here if that fits your aesthetic of your shop. Let's just go ahead and bring in a circle and we're going to size it down. Now you can use the shortcut keys like control C and control V to copy and paste your designs. I'm going to go ahead and drag over a few of them and we'll do two rows. Not anything crazy, but you guys will get the point. So in order to make sure that these circles are all centered and like horizontally and vertically, what you're going to do is click and drag your mouse and it will select everything within that box that you just created. Mine looks like it's about even as far as the middle alignments go. So I want to make sure that the spacing between each of the circles is the same. So I'm going to go to position and then do horizontally. And then that will kind of even up the things that there. I'm going to go ahead and delete this and just copy and paste this again. And Canva kind of pops up different guides. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but they kind of pop up different guides to help you. And um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this looks. Now my favorite vinyl for my shop is Oracle 651. I know that I can get a lot of it. I know that I can get it rather cheap. So I'm just gonna pull up a color chart from their site and we're gonna import that so we can pull from those colors. I'm gonna link this down below so that you guys can see exactly what colors they have to offer and you guys can take your own screenshot and pull it in. So now that our 
So now that our color chart is in here, what we're going to do is we're just going to move this down below. Now I do have eight different circles here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add two more. So now we've got an even 10. I'll make sure that these positionings are okay still. And everything still looks good. So, so I'm a sucker for rainbows. I think it's a beautiful way to display exactly what colors you have. So we're going to start with red over here in this corner. Um, select that first circle. We're going to go up to the color box in the top left hand side of the canvas. And then we're going to use this add new color under document colors. We're going to grab the eyedropper tool. Now, if you know the exact, like, I think it's the hexadecimal thing, you're more than welcome to type that in here, but we don't know the exact things right now. So I'm just going to grab this eyedropper and we're going to pick out this red. We're going to continue on selecting each circle, the box, the document color, and then dropping that eyedropper to pick up our colors. And we're back. Now that all of our colors are available, um, I kind of want to add in the text so that the customer knows what color it is that they're selecting. So in order to do that, we're going to go to the text on the left hand side. We're just going for a basic subsetting. So we'll do a little bit of body text. We're going to go ahead and resize this. We'll do red. And we're just going to copy and paste this along as we're making our color. Now, because Oracle has a lot of different colors and honestly, every vinyl brand has a ton of options available. If you're offering a lot of colors for your vinyl shop. Now, what I would do is name the color exactly as shown on your Oracle chart or any other vinyl chart that you have make sure that those things match up because as you get different custom orders in, if you end up ordering additional vinyl, you're going to want to make sure that you can find that color again at a later date. Really easy. If you name it like star crushed yellow, but there isn't an actual star crushed yellow out there, you're going to have a hard time remembering where you got that vinyl from exactly what color that was because there's a few different colors that kind of really line up really close together and it's hard to pick it out especially when you're just ordering from a monitor so if you name it the proper color as you're creating this it'll be easier for you in the long term when you go to reorder your supplies all right so now that we have our basic template for our color palette together now you can either leave it exactly like it is, or you can add additional circles to it. Of course, you can change the title of this instead of this being just your vinyl color. If you shop from multiple vinyl dealers, you can have an Oracle color chart. You can have a um, craftables color chart. You can have a color chart for your shirts. Now you can do so much with this basic template. If you're wanting to add just a little bit more flair, you can also go to the uploads on the left hand side, upload your own logo, brand it a little bit, or you can add different elements. Canva has so many amazing clip arts already installed. You just have to drop it in. And in order to do that, we just got to click it. You can change the colors up here. We'll add in some little dots here, send it to the back. Did I send it to the back? Yeah, we'll send it to the back. Uh, maybe you want to add some gold streaks. I don't know. Whatever it is that you guys want to do to make this template uniquely yours, I am all for it. So there are so many amazing features, even on the free edition of Canva, that if you guys are not utilizing, let me save you from yourself go try it now. Now, if you found this video helpful and you want to help out other crafting friends, make sure that you share this video with them. Vinyl color charts are something that will help you in the long run and they are so easy to make. 
And if you really like this video, I think you're gonna love this other Canva video.